Welcome, 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 everybody, to another edition of Mike One's Pro Tools Tutorials for Beginners, Intermediate, and anyone else in between. <laughs> advanced, too. If you don't know some of this stuff and you're advanced, that's okay. That's quite all right. We learn from everyone, including myself. I learn things from amazing engineers and musicians every day. Uh, just wanted to uh, say welcome back, and I know it's been a long time since I updated this YouTube channel, uh, but I've been seeing that I've been getting steady hits and steady requests for more videos, so I decided to come back from my hiatus, put my work aside, and say, hey guys, I'm going to make another video for you. Um, the number one topic I have to admit was, how the heck did you get your Axiom keyboard to work with Pro Tools? And I must admit, it was a little bit frustrating for myself also, because I had some problems to get it started. But once you got the basics down, uh, it's pretty easy. So I'm going to go ahead and go through that. First and foremost, what you need to do is make sure that you have the drivers loaded for your particular keyboard, be it M-Audio, be it uh, Korg, be it Motif, whatever, whatever you have. Uh, go to the website. Don't use the install disk. Those are usually outdated drivers. Go to the website. Download the latest driver for your operating system. If you have Mac OS, download that. If you have Windows, do that. Windows XP or Vista. Make sure you specify which one and download the correct driver for your device. Okay, so you got everything plugged in. You've got the cables. You got the MIDI in to where it needs to go, MIDI out to where it needs to go, or your USB cable is plugged in, and it still doesn't work. First thing, what I like to do is I go here to my start, my control panel, and under sounds and audio devices, you will see under the hardware tab that there is a list of drivers that is loaded for your your MIDI devices, namely here for myself I have my Axiom and my M-Audio device. If for some reason it doesn't call it by name and it says USB audio device then that you're in a situation where that is a known issue where Windows Windows <laughs> Windows fails to load the correct driver that was provided by the manufacturer, in this case, M Audio. Now, uh, after talking to some tech um, support people from the forums at M Audio, uh, the website, uh, they taught me how to go ahead and update this driver. So, what you want to do is, I'm just going to assume that this was the wrong driver. Let's pretend this said USB Audio, and it did not say Axiom 25. Okay. So if this said USB audio, I would click this and hit properties, hit driver, hit update driver. You don't have to check online. Now install from a list or specified location and then don't search. I will choose the driver to install. You're going to force it to use the M audio driver. Now right here you see sometimes Windows loads this option. You don't want that option. And I don't know why it does that. Um, M-Audio doesn't know why Windows does that. Uh, it just does what it does. Windows is Windows. It's one of those love-hate relationships. Um, go ahead and choose Axiom 25 and hit Next. I'm not going to do it because particularly right now I ran some sessions earlier where I had to change this. So, But it's set up correctly now. But if in this other menu back here sounds and audio devices it said USB audio device you would change it to the appropriate driver in this section here hit next it might ask you to restart it might not um, depends on how Windows feels that particular day and once you got everything loaded before you load Pro, Pro Tools number one turn on your audio your uh, MIDI devices make sure they're on because if they're not on Pro Tools during the splash page is going to look for the M, uh, MIDI devices and most of the time, if not all the time, if you don't have them turned on, you're going to have problems later. Um, took me a long time to figure that out. Years, actually, and I don't understand why. 
Um, I don't even know if it still works or if that's the case now. It's just something that I've incorporated in my workflow, and it's been working for me since for years um, using Pro Tools. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go here to Setup, MIDI, MIDI Studio Setup, and I'm going to delete this entry and start from scratch. So let's say I want to add my MIDI device, my, my little Axiom keyboard that I use for triggering samples. I'm going to hit Create. And the first thing I'm going to do is my input port, I'm going to choose as Axiom. My output port should be Axiom also. Now, manufacturer, if you go down, you'll notice that M Audio is not listed here. I don't know why it's not listed here. Um, it used to be listed around Pro Tools 6 or 5, 3, I believe. I don't know what happened if... <laughs> There was a a fight between Digi and M Audio back then, before the uh, the merger or acquisition rather. Um, but nonetheless, it is not listed here, so don't look for it. So, but you know what? It's not even required. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit highlight this and type Axiom 25, uh, and then just hit enter. Then you notice on the left populates right there Axiom 25. I'm not going to touch anything. I don't need to. I don't really care. Um, it's a MIDI triggering device. The only time that you need this is if you have a large synthesizer that has MIDI names um, that you're going to use. But since I'm using soft synths and since I'm triggering samples already in my uh, my system, I'm not going to touch this. I'm going to hit X. Now, when I have a MIDI track loaded, if I click on the input, I should see that all has been selected and Axiom 25 is, is there. Also, on the output, Axiom 25 should be there also. When you arm your track, if you've done everything correctly and everything was lined up correctly, as soon as you arm it and as soon as you start tapping the keys, you should see some activity levels. Do a sample recording and play some scales. Okay, everything is good to go. It works. Okay. For some reason, if this does not work and you don't see levels, 99% of the time, the biggest rookie error is your MIDI through is not enabled. Notice, I just took that off. Oh no, what's happening? I don't know what to do. My MIDI doesn't work. Mike won't help me. <laughs> you know what? Don't worry about it too much. <laughs> I've been there myself. Um, and many, many professionals using Pro Tools actually forgotten this many times. I've seen it in huge studios where that has been the case and they sat there for a couple minutes like, what the hell's going on? But anyway, make sure the MIDI through is enabled, you got your MIDI devices, everything's working, and there you go. You got your MIDI set up. Repeat the process for every channel or every MIDI device that you have in your arsenal. I have three different MIDI devices loaded. Um, in my studio set up at my home studio and uh, everything should be good okay I guess that's it I have nothing else to say about that I will have other tutorials regarding virtual instruments how to implement them using MIDI um, and some other things uh, in store in the near future thanks for your support this has been great uh, this is M1 signing off for another tutorial on Pro Tools for Beginners